representatives of the International Transport Workers Federation, or ITF, boarded the motor vessel Ever Given, the massive container ship operated by Taiwanese liner Evergreen, which ran aground the Suez Canal last March and caused a week-long blockage, which disrupted the flow of commercial shipping. The ITF conducted a health and welfare check of the crew as the ship is still being held at anchor in the Great Bitter Lake, while the Egyptian authorities and the ship's owner argue over compensation claims amounting to $916 million. The ITF is well known in the transport industry as an advocate of workers' rights and humanitarian treatment. As seafarers are very much prone to abusive conditions, mostly due to a lack of visibility to the public, their interventions help in improving the working conditions and, in some extreme cases, even saves lives. So the question is, what did they find when they boarded the Ever Given? The ITF representative issued a statement which says that the crew is in good spirits and doing well. The statement also mentioned that the crew are sensitive at the moment and that they are eager to sail or at least know if they will be allowed to go home in case the ship cannot leave Egypt soon. The ITF said that they found no contract violations and that the seafarers are being paid their wages and had sufficient food provisions. On a related note, the Ever Given's technical managers, Bernard Schulte Ship Management, has revealed that no pollution or damage or mechanical failure was cited in the initial report. Earlier, the Suez Canal Authority blamed the ship's captain for the grounding and denied any role of the pilots in the incident. But although the official investigation has already been completed, strangely enough, the SCA hasn't made the results public yet. Instead, they demanded a compensation of $916 million dollars without specifying details as to how they came up with such an exorbitant amount. As such, the ship owner and the other parties involved have refused to pay. Meanwhile, the judicial official overseeing the legal dispute over the compensation has informed that the crew could be held for years if the matter isn't resolved. For those of you who have seen my episodes about Muhammad Aisha, you know that situations such as these could turn out really bad, especially for the crew. The Suez Canal Authority has initially declared that the crew cannot leave unless the ship owner pays the compensation. And the UK club insurer of the Ever Given has complained that the extraordinarily large claim hasn't been justified by the SCA and expressed disappointment at their attempts to hold the crew for ransom. As a compromise, the SCA revised their stance saying that the crew can leave as long as the captain remains on board with enough crew to operate the ship. Now, upon clarification, it has been established that 25 crew members will have to be on board, including the captain, until the legal dispute is cleared. As a result, earlier in April, two crew members were relieved because of urgent personal circumstances. And just a few days ago, another three crew members were allowed to go home to India as their contracts have already expired. Three new seafarers have also taken their place. This decision has given a measure of hope to the stranded seafarers, but while the legal dispute continues, the SCA can't allow the whole crew to go as they would lose the leverage to get compensation. The Ever Given's owner earlier made an appeal against the detention of the ship and the crew, but unfortunately, a major setback happened last Tuesday as an Egyptian court upheld the initial ruling. The court also revealed that they approved the detention based on a report submitted by the SCA, although the reasons for the ruling haven't been announced yet. At present, the owners and the insurers are assessing all available options and preparing for another appeal by the 20th of May. Both have expressed their disappointment, saying that the evidence and the validity of the arrest by the Suez Canal Authority are weak.